too confusing mm -hmm. for the AI, you know, like if I do too many things at once. This, there's so much detail. Like, I put tin foil here so that I don't have to clean this and scrape this pan made. And then I even do another one on the bottom so that the oven doesn't get all black on the bottom and start sizzling and catching on fire with like sugar burning or or cheese that falls off the side. So I don't think that most people think about this much detail. I don't know, maybe they do. <laughs> but then there's another part of the detail that's like a little bit of variety. Like, I know I'm gonna finish these chips before they go stale. So, I actually don't even feel bad about opening another bag of chips, just to give it like a little bit of difference. So people have like a choice <laughs> in what kind of chip they like. And I'm gonna finish these too before they go stale. So I don't even have to really worry about only opening one bag of chips at a time. And then I've got this microplane, microplaner. This thing is incredible. I, I never put it in the dishwasher. Uh, I always hand wash it. I sponge it the opposite direction of the blade, not to like cut my sponge or my hand but it's extremely sharp, so like, really avoid cutting it with your hand. I almost touched it with my pinky finger. I always wash my hands before I start cooking. And a lot of this stuff I can't even take credit for because my brother taught me, like he taught me about the microplane and he probably learned it online somewhere. And then, Brie's not really a nacho cheese, but I like it anyways, so I might as well finish it before it goes bad. You can talk too if you have questions. <laughs> really. Uh, it's, you can trust the algorithm to filter it out. See, now I'm just doing like a little bit, like back and forth to get center and Bree's funny because people actually paid more for the outside of it <laughs> never would have guessed right <laughs> so the other problem is timing like how do I make sure that everything I'm cooking is gonna be like hot and ready at the same time right mm -hmm. so I'll wait to start the nachos and when using the broiler you leave, there's, I love this toaster oven if you want to get closer to that. It's got a bunch of different modes and it's like got this nice classic green color. Um, but you leave the door open when using the broiler so that when it gets up to 500 degrees, the broiler stays on instead of turning off. Okay. Same goes for the oven. So, what else can I make? I've got a cucumber and, and some celery. I guess I didn't get that out. So I like to make a little cucumber salad. <laughs> I'll just check for cutting board. These are kind of nice. I'd like, I'd like a uh, wooden one better probably. knife came with Copper Chef. It's the sharpest knife I've ever used. And then there's a peeler, a potato peeler in here somewhere. There it is. Potato peeler. He says that 
the skins on a vegetable are to keep the nutrients in, not necessarily we should eat them, although I thought it used to, there was like evidence that the skins were really good to eat. easier to talk because mm -hmm. I feel like I'm teaching you something. <laughs> do you cook much? I do not, but I would like to get into cooking. Oh, good. So we'll be able to find one more video out of the millions that are already <laughs> out there. I just get it kind of close. These little bits I like to put in the garden and then if you cut it in an angle like this it doesn't roll so you don't lose all of them to the sink but my sink's pretty clean so sometimes I even like if I'm eating alone I'll just rinse it off and mm -hmm. put it back in. <laughs> So this, I, I like to throw these in the garden because it's like um, extra compost. Mm -hmm. They actually have like a giant composting section at the dump, but it's really hard right now for like trash collection facilities to differentiate between what kind of stuff should go in the compost and what should be put in the landfill um, and that's just because of how people sort out their trash like they just put it all in one bag so they're trying to come up with better ways to like use computers to differentiate metals from the trash bin so they can save metal hmm. I like to make a little cucumber salad if I don't have lettuce. And it's, um, I don't know, a bowl. I'll kind of just put that over here. And then, what else was I going to make? Some caramelized carrots. That sounds good. <laughs> yeah. One time I made some, like, Caramelized like bourbon carrots. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah, and you use like whiskey in it and some other, and like brown sugar, and you just like cook it down, and it, oh, it's so good. <laughs> so I got these baby carrots that are starting to turn, but they're not quite like slimy yet. Like, they actually, you can feel it. It doesn't, it's not really slimy. Yeah. It's just a little bit moist. So they're still good. And then you could like cut off the ends, but once they're soft and caramelized, they're gonna be so good that nobody's gonna notice the ends. <laughs> and then these ones are new, so I'll put those back. And then what else can I make? Uh, I've got some brown sugar. This is actually even better than brown sugar. This is like gingerbread pie sugar. Hmm. It's like really brown sugar. It's yeah. Got like, it's got like, I don't know, extra spices or something in it. Mm -hmm. It was foreign. He could found it. <laughs> <laughs> it came in a bag with a lady on the front. And then have anything against chocolate, right? No. <laughs> All right, I'll just sprinkle a little chocolate on it. It'll be fun. And then I've been doing this thing with, I'm saying that, with like combining,
butter. Do you need butter? Mm -hmm. Okay. So that'll be good. Um, Ego always said to like not combine starches, like if I make potatoes and pasta. Mm -hmm. So I want to reuse this pan for boiling. So I'm not like, like doing too many dishes because mm -hmm. that's also kind of a pain to wash dishes. <laughs> yeah. And then if, where did all my plates go? It's actually getting kind of soggy. Huh. That's weird. Just have to heat it up anyways. It's really kind of starchy. But um, it's actually good to make sure when you like heat something up to make sure that it's moist because the microwave is actually tuned to uh, agitate water molecules. So if it's really dry in the middle, like sometimes potatoes get dry, then it doesn't heat through the potato very evenly. Like, uh, you have to mix the potatoes up and put it back in and it's like cold. But if you put a little water on it first, then it heats up more evenly. So, this is already getting kind of soggy, so I'm gonna throw it in this little compost pot. Actually, want to only cook the half of the pasta. I've been cooking for two people. Yeah. Just so that it doesn't get soggy like that. And then that's another thing is like composting a little bit. I think it's kind of like you're just saving energy because the trees are like. It'll grow mold and then that mold turns into nutrients for like trees or plants or other stuff in the flower bed. Yeah. So I'm just gonna peel this. Good when it's connected, like when you can peel it from the top. sometimes come off in the water too. I don't really enjoy eating the threads, but I guess they also make a brush for it. Careful what kind of hand motions I'm making on camera, right? <laughs>
once it's boiled, it'll last for another week probably. I mean, it doesn't really change. Maybe it'll turn more gray after a week, but it doesn't really like change the texture after it's boiled. And they're not gonna like combine flavors really. So I just save water and energy. Because uh, it takes quite a bit of water I like to start the boiler there. Fill it up like halfway here. Maybe a quarter of the way. And I'm pouring the water out so it doesn't really matter that there's some leftover starch from the pasta because I'm not going to eat it. It'll just come out when I dump the water out. I know you're not a fan of my dog food, but <laughs> I'll eat it. This was a pretty terrible lentil stew. I had no clue what it was. <laughs> I got all my trash in one bag, so it's not gonna mess up anything else. was talking about breading some brie and putting like date syrup and fruit and then baking it. That sounds good. Yeah. I don't know what half that stuff is, but <laughs> like Maybe. that's the stuff that you had out earlier, right? Yeah, we'll do that later. So you could also make kind of a mashed potatoes out of cauliflower. So I'm going to make like half and half. Mm -hmm. I'll add cauliflower to the potatoes and you won't even notice. Uh, it'll just taste like awesome mashed potatoes. Okay, now I'm about ready to light because all the trash and plastic's out of the way. So this one will probably take the longest, so I just get that started. And microwaving these will be easy, maybe two minutes altogether. Nachos probably take maybe five to ten minutes depending on temperature. It has to heat up too. so. That takes about five minutes to get up, up to like 500 degrees. Um, now I was going to show you this mushroom. So these are starting to get soggy. This one, too soggy. Doesn't really look appetizing. The, but it's going back in the garden, so I'm not like wasting that much energy, gas getting it here and if I'm growing food I guess that's even better because that's food that somebody doesn't have to transport but I can still enjoy um, that one's kind of soggy this one's kind of borderline so let's eat it <laughs> talk you into it okay. so I rinse it off too high, but you 
can see inside of it, it starts to turn a little gray when they're old instead of white. You can smell it. It should smell like, pretty much like dirt, but it's like, I like that one. So this is what somebody did to me to get me to like mushrooms. Okay. You have to eat it raw. Okay. <laughs> You're making a face. I don't know. I don't know how I feel. Like it tastes like nothing, but it tastes like dirt at the same time. And it's not bad. So usually I just look for like if there's any like obvious brown spots that come off. See, this one's whiter. Mm-hmm. Smaller piece, try to compare. That one tastes way more mild, right? Not mm -hmm. as dirty. Mm-hmm. So that kind of gives you a range of like soggy mushroom versus fresh mushroom. But I promise you're not gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm just going to let these dry out because we'll make them tonight. I'll make like a mushroom sauce or something to go with the fish. Okay. Or um, what else did she say? I have to wash my hands again. Wait, a mushroom sauce would be good on my potatoes it's kind of like um like a gravy like yeah a that sounds good cheap gravy a mushroom gravy and then i've got this gravy in the back So we could look at what is in this that I can also make. Turkey flavor, turkey skins. Is there anything that's not turkey? No, it is all turkey. <laughs> so how am I going to imitate this in like a vegetarian friend? That's what I was trying to think of. I'm sure it's out there. Next to the internet, I can find it. <laughs> okay. Uh, these will also take a while. Oh, yeah. A little bit of water just to get it boiling. And then, since you're not. Anti lactose or anti dairy. I'll put like a pretty decent chunk of butter in there. And for those, when I make them like, uh, uh, try and soften them up as much as possible, like maybe just barely a little crunch in the center. Should be enough. stays in and the heat stays in. I won't use this pan. Damn, I could be quieter. Some people can cook like completely silently. That's that's what I'm working up to. <laughs> so you don't wake up and go before she's sleeping? <laughs> yeah, Don't 
catch fire. And then since I'm waiting, I can also clean. some of these things just because I'm starting to starting a garden and can't afford to buy topsoil <laughs> and drive around to a hardware store. I would love to start my own garden one day. That's like the goal, is just to live off the earth. <laughs> well, you know what they say about people like that? What? Anti-capitalist. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> <I> mean... <laughs> Oh, yeah, I forgot you had tomato plants. Yeah, I'm going to take one of these basils and put it on top of our mashed potatoes. <laughs> um, so I'll save this and then in a minute I'll cut it up. And then we have also got thyme. Fresh thyme is nice. Uh, and then Ego loves Loves dill. Says it's good for the nervous system. So I'll put a little dill on top. And it should be a pretty beautiful meal. <laughs> and then I can heat these up together. I know you don't want any beans, but I'll eat them. <laughs> uh, this one's too high if the flames are coming up the side. All the water's, all the steam's coming out, so I turn it down while it's boiling. It's starting to, it'll start to caramelize, like this'll get thicker and thicker and thicker, and the bubbles will get slower as it gets thicker. And then it'll kind of turn into like a thick chocolatey caramel syrup on top of soft carrots so i basically eat like thanksgiving dinner every day <laughs> while that's going i guess we could do nachos ahead of time we eat nachos while we wait for the rest yeah well appetizer <laughs> Those carrots smell good. Since I'm waiting on stuff to cook, it's a good time to clean. Going against or with with the blade, I guess. Mm -hmm. So that I'm not just cutting my hand in the sponge. good for the video.